hi guys welcome to another episode on my channel thank you so much for joining me today i hope that um the other videos that led you to this video you enjoy them and i hope that you have thought about subscribing to my channel i really need to get the 1000 subscribers i don't know how that's gonna be possible but with god all things are possible before i get into this video if you haven't subscribed take a minute eh? Take a second, let your conscience judge you. Click that subscribe button. Subscribe, okay? All right, uh -huh. we cool? All right, <laughs> so today um, I wanna talk about entering the role of being a wife, right? So now that my long distance relationship is over, my husband is finally here, um, I wanna talk about the adjustment of being a wife, right? I think I had spoken about a topic of, you know, um, when dating, dating is not an audition and um, it's not for you to feel like, let me show my best self so that you know that I can be a good wife or a good husband, right? Because if you're not in it, you cannot start to become it, right? So for me, now that I'm, fully married because i was half baked before for a whole year i was half baked i got married and i came back and my husband was in nigeria and now like i think i'm fully married right um one of the biggest adjustments for me in my new role as a wife is um compromise right compromise in the sense that you can't continue to do things the way you normally did them as a single person. It's one of the most interesting part in marriage and it's also the tough part in marriage, right? Um, compromise. Whenever you go to like a marriage seminar, right? They talk about the different things you need in marriage and you take notes and you, you're, you're like, oh my God, when I get married, I'm gonna be like this, I'm gonna be like that, I'm gonna be like that. But when you're in it, like you have to, constantly remind yourself like okay wait i'm somebody's wife i have to be compromising in some situations right um when i talk about compromise i, I don't mean your belief for me i married a god-fearing man thank god i married a man that believes in jesus christ so i don't have to compromise my belief at all but in the sense of you know finances in the sense of attitude in the sense of behavior in the sense of um you know, even speaking, like, you know, there, one thing I've come to realize is that people want to be loved differently, right? And for for the seminars that I've been to, whenever they talk about men, they talk about men want respect, right? And it will shock you. When, after, after I got married, one of the things I asked my husband is, what does respect mean to you, right? Because some people are like, oh, I, I want a, a woman that's respectful. I want a woman that's respectful. But yeah, you want a respectful woman, but how do you want to be respected, right? Um, some men would take it as, if a woman does my laundry, that's respect. Some men would take it as, if a woman takes care of the house without involving me, that's respect. All these things I just listed was not respect for my husband. Believe it or respect not. Respect did not mean some of the things that I thought respect meant, right? And it's not like respect like he's my dad. No, it's respect of, just respect that I want to be given as a person, right? So that was one of the things that I had to, you know, absorb and take in and listen to. And then second of all, please, women, eh? Once we are married, <laughs> like, by God's grace, I love cooking to say not to say the opposite the challenge for me is knowing what to cook i don't know if you guys if any one of you that have been in a long distance and now your your husband is here are you know have this issue like for me it's adjusting to like you know making dinner like I, in the weekend like i'll cook big meals and stuff but every night i can't think like oh should i make a uh, yam and egg or should i make rice and stew or should i make like i don't even know how to 
you know, like when I first got married, like I didn't even know how to like do these things. But now, you know, with with my husband's help, like I'll ask him, like, what are you hungry for? And my husband's kind of person, like, whatever you make for me, I'll eat. I don't care. But for me, I just needed that insight. Like, okay, what are you hungry for? And thank God I married somebody that's very understanding. So it made it easy. You know, um, I think in one of my video, like I did say, like some men be like, oh, I want fresh food every day. <laughs> yeah, that one go bad. That would be tough for me personally, like, cause I, I've already like mastered, okay, I'm gonna cook big meals in the weekend and then we just go through the week selecting from those meals, right? Mm -hmm. so also, I am adjusting to communication because you have outspoken communication and you have unspoken communication, right? For me, I have a lot of unspoken communication. I didn't even know I was like this, right? Like I subconsciously want you to know what's going on in my head. Nobody will ever know what's going on in your head. So whatever you're communicating, you have to say it, you know, whatever, um, you are you are expecting you have to say it so that the other person would know because when you're in a long distance relationship by the time you start living together the adjustment you know it's that's where the adjustment starts so, communication you like you have to make sure like your spoken communication and you know your your unspoken communication make sure you try to speak them make sure you try to let your partner know what some things that you like what you appreciate and those are a few things that i'm adjusting to as a you know newly fully wife <laughs> role um, one thing i really want to put out there is um i feel the older generation they had this mentality of keep your marriage to yourself no third party in your marriage um whatever you're going through just go through it and pray to god that god will help you and all that so they have a point right halfway but for me i believe when you're going through hardships in your marriage or you're going through tough times in your marriage um if you of course talk to god of course tell god about it right but I don't think there's anything wrong having a few people you can confide in, right? I mean, it's not everything you go tell somebody, but you know, I don't know if this happened to you, but like sometimes you just want somebody that you can tell what happened just to confirm if you're crazy or like, like, yo, am I crazy? You think, you think I'm crazy? Like you, you think I overreacted and stuff? Of course you have to have these people that can check you. Like people that can tell you, yo, you went overboard. Like you did not have to say this. You did not have to say that. You have to know, like you as a person have to know that whoever you're telling, whoever this close friend is or this close relative is, they're not always taking your side. Like they want to understand both sides and then tell you like, okay, like I see where he's wrong, but this is what you could have done, right? So I don't solely believe in that. Keep your marriage to yourself because I feel like a lot of women have kept a lot of deep things to themselves and they are going through mental illness, you know? If you don't have a close friend you can talk to, if you don't have a close mentor you can talk to, by all means, talk to a therapist. Because there's something about sharing what you're going through that makes you feel better automatically. Of course, talk to God. I'm an advocate. Like, talk to God about it. Tell God, you know, this is what I'm going through. Help me. You know, give me the grace. Give me the patience for each day and stuff. But I don't see anything wrong with talking to somebody. But the, um, the mindset of, you know, whatever is going through, keep it to myself. You know, that's how people have heart attacks. That's how people have burdens that they can't, you know, they can't communicate with people. So that's just my, like my adjustment is like, for me, I don't go around telling people, oh, this was happening in my marriage. Oh, this was a, oh, 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 la, la, la. No, like I have a few people that I can really confide in that can check me, that can tell me, Sandra, what you did here was wrong. You shouldn't have done that. And also like, I talk to my husband, you have to communicate to your husband, no matter how big the fight was, y'all still gonna, make the bed and lie in it right and another thing is i believe every marriage should have rules and that's something that we we kind of did like kind of have rules like i could be mad but there's some rules that 
you just that you don't cross the line or you don't do this like you just you know we have that set i believe every marriage has that but yeah like i'm adjusting to this marriage life everybody keep telling me i'm glowing thanks be to god you know um taking it every day at a time thank god for my husband i i love him don't get me wrong he pisses me off i piss him off we're not perfect we're human beings we're two different think about it like we grew up in two different places two different families and you think we're not gonna have arguments you think we're not gonna fight think about when you even you were living with your siblings you guys fight these are people you grew up with these are people you spent like 80 percent of your life with right so you're still gonna fight so guess what no marriage is perfect this is how you know the people that you should not tell anything about your marriage or even expect any kind of advice um people that once you say, oh, you know, this is something that happened, I really want to know, like, did I do something wrong? Or, you know, do you think my spouse did something wrong and stuff? And they'd be like, what? He did that? Oh, no. Mm -mm. I would never take that from nobody. What? He, he did what? People like that, eliminate them from any marital conversation you want to have. Because people like that want to try to one-up you like you're in a competition that don't you don't even know about right so um just be mindful and that's one thing that you know i just wanted to share with you guys i just wanted to talk about you know adjusting into being a wife it's, it's still weird but we're gonna be two years in january right but for me this is really my first year of marriage because this is when we started living together but yeah guys like i'm glad i was able to talk about that but yeah let me know if you have any comments. Let me know if you agree with what these things that I've mentioned. I hope you click that subscribe button and I hope to see you next time. Take care, people.